bad. So that's where part one's going to end. And because I'm doing this live, I'm now just going to say, hey, it's part two now. And that just means I continue my franchise. So basically, this is my lineup. We've got Fred Van Bleet, Donovan Mitchell, OG Ananobi, Tari Eason, Sangoon, Amen Thompson, Cam Whitmore, Luke Cornette, Reed Shepard, Kyle Anderson, and Matisse Stipule. So the Donovan Mitchell trade definitely involves me giving up a little too much. I'll be honest with you. Because we gave up Jalen Green, Jabari Smith Jr., and multiple first-round picks that all had a lot of value. Also, LeBron decided to say screw Philly, and he went to the Piston. So that's going to be interesting. Good thing we're in the West. Uh, the West is not looking too, too competitive right now. But we did low-key make the Cavs a juggernaut So because they got Garland. They got... I did have to make Jalen Green uh, a three to make the trade go through. I am going to make him a two again. So they had Dar Darius Garland, Jalen Green. I'm not going to even acknowledge that you're there. They have Jabari Smith Jr., Evan Mobley, and Jared Allen, and Vucevic, who they got by trading their 20th pick during the draft. So, yeah. That Cleveland team is going to be difficult. Not to mention the... Um, Consistent roadblocks we're going to have just being in the West. We're going to have to deal with Jokic and the Nuggets. We're going to have to deal with Shea Gilgis, Alexander, and the Thunder. And we're going to have to deal with Victor soon. Once the rest of the, you know, Spurs get even better. Um, I will look to eventually trade Freddie. I want Reed Shepard to kind of start right away. So Freddie can get traded. A man can come off the bench. That's fine. Cam can come off the bench. That's fine. Um... The rest of our bench isn't even too good anyway, so I don't mind lowering the rotation, but I don't want to risk injuries. That's the only problem. Freddy is on a team option, though, so we can always trade him during next offseason if we want to use him as a as a trade piece for something, for someone who has a bigger contract. But for the meantime, it's all going to depend on how good we play. That will, that will make the decision of how, where we go beyond that. I don't mind trading for Zach Levine, because I get a first round pick and I'm going to lose Freddie anyway. So Zach Levine could be okay. Uh, Draymond Green in a first round pick is also okay. Because Draymond Green could be a perfectly fine backup four. Don't hate the idea. Don't love it, but don't hate it. Rudy Gobert. Um, I did play around with the idea of getting another center. But Sangoon is already a great rebounder. There's no point in putting him at the four. So Rudy Gobert would make no sense. RJ Barrett. I'm going to let him represent Canada. I like CJ. I really like CJ, but that trade doesn't make any sense at the moment. Rui's cool, but no. Julius Randle's cool, but I'm not going to do that either. The Zach Levine trade makes sense, but I'm okay. I might just take the Warriors trade. I know uh, Zach Levine might have a little bit more value, and this Warriors pick might not be too good in the long run. But I'm actually going to play around with the idea of them potentially being worse than I think they will. Because that Bulls pick's not for like multiple years. So I'll save a bunch of money. I'll get a first round pick. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. New title of part two. We bring a championship contender to the Houston Rockets. Well, I mean, I guess an NBA title winner is more accurate than a contender. But yeah, I mess with it. So we got Draymond Green to back up Tari Eason for the meantime. Sengun at the 5, Ananobi and Cam Whitmore, Matisse Thybul can probably just play the, I might have to just move Cam Whitmore to like, the nah, because he's not going to play the 4, huh, I'm not going to make Draymond a backup center, being 6-6, six, six. huh, okay, so you could be the 1, I guess Amen Thompson can maybe play the 1, you a good playmaker, you're 6-7, you're a good defender, you don't shoot the three ball at all, and that's fine. Yeah, you seem to do everything else just fine. Playmaking's up there. What if we... Well, if I make you a one, then Reed Shepard's not the one. Huh. Okay, this, this is becoming a bit of a dilemma. It seems like it makes the most sense to put you at the two, even though you don't have a three-point shot. I'm going to put you at the one anyway. Reed Shepard's going to be the backup one. You're going to be the starting two. You're going to be starting three. Cam Whitmore's going to be here. 
And then Matisse Diabio, we're gonna move you to the two. Yeah, Matisse Diabio will play back up two. Well, you know, he's gonna get worse, but it is what it is. We need the defense. Draymond be the backup four, Luke Canelli be the backup five. So, Amen Thompson, Donovan Mitchell, OG Ananobi, Draymond Green, Sangoon, Cam Whitmore, Atari Eason, Luke Cornette, Reed Shepard, and Kyle Anderson. Who is getting minutes over Matisse Dibule? I'm going to take away your minutes and give them to Matisse. Alright, we're going to try this lineup for a little bit and see how we do. And we're going to start saving the season. Uh, we only have like 30% chemistry, so if we don't win games at the beginning of the year, it's not too much of a concern. Uh, Sangoon is going to stay on the team for sure. So is Reed Shepard. So is um, Donovan Mitchell, because we gave up way too much for Donovan Mitchell. So we're going to find a way to build the team around Donovan Mitchell, Reed Shepard, and Sangoon. Tari, Eason, I'm okay with trading down the road if the right trade comes around. Um... But yeah, this is just a, a year of progression for our young players. This season, we're not really expected to be a very good team. If we can make an attempt at the play-in, that would be exciting. But that's really about all I'm really expecting for this team, if I'm being honest with you. A Draymond Green might also have to be a cap casualty. But that's if we're trying to get another star player come time free agency. If we're not, we can always probably resign him for a short-term cheaper deal. Because he could always be, uh, for, the, for the type of playbook we run, uh, we have Ime Adoka who wants, you know, well uh, diverse defensive, but also sometimes able to score players. Uh, keeping uh, Draymond Green on the team would actually make some sense. It really wouldn't make sense to just yeet him for no reason, even though he's making $24 million, but that's only for two seasons. So like his next contract, he'll probably only ask for like 10 15 or whatever. So we can always give him like a one-year extension or something like that. But yeah, uh, ultimately right now we're looking a little bit better than expected. We are almost 500, so that's kind of cool. Uh, we beat the we put up 142 on the Bulls. That's exciting. We lost to the Pistons by 20 plus, but they have LeBron, so not really gonna overthink that. Uh, and we have this really long game against Miami where we won. We lose to Giannis, then we take on Trey Young and the Hawks which in this universe they drafted Alexander Saar, so uh, hopefully Reed Shepard plays all right. All right, 17 and 22. Let's let's do some assessment. Oh, you're already injured. All righty. Well, he, he was playing relatively good, it looks like. He was averaging 26.5 points per game, four rebounds, four assists, a steal and a half, uh, shooting about 52%, 35% from three. Free throw numbers could be a bit better. Uh, hmm. Okay. Sangoon, his numbers are going up a little bit. He's scoring more. He's still getting a decent amount of rebounds. He's getting a steal a game. Shooting a little too many threes, but his field goal percentage is all right. Amen Thompson is struggling a little bit. OG's defense is definitely playing a good role in helping our team. Cam Whitmore is putting up 16 points per game. Tari Easton is... Yeah, he could be better. Could be better. Draymond Green's actually playing rather well in his small sample size for what he's doing. Luke Cornett's not helping. Reed Shepard's not helping. Matisse Dibule's not helping. Uh, so ultimately, a lot of our players are not helping at the moment. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, any contract negotiations? Hmm. No one's eligible. Well, that's terrific. Well, Sangoon's just going to get a contract extension, so we're not worried about that. Uh, Cam Whitmore, he's doing fine. You're on a team option. You're on a player option, which you're probably going to accept. Luke Cornette, we might move, uh, move on from at some point. Uh, you're heated, so I'm just going to trade you now. Literally for whatever. It, it doesn't even matter what we get. I'm just going to trade you. Ooh, Delano Banton could be interesting. Leonard Miller. Two-star player on a two-year deal. I like the sound of that. Hmm. Joop Reith. Dorian Finney-Smith could be nice. Tim Hardaway Jr. Yeah, he's getting paid $16 million, but... 
He's also only got one year left on his deal, and then we can get him back cheaper the following year. And we get a draft pick. S questioning it. And I do need a backup shooting guard. Yeah, yeah. Give me give me Tim Hardaway Jr. Yeah, we'll take Tim Hardaway Jr. Tim Hardaway Jr. and a second round pick. Works for me. Why are we not starting Tim Hardaway Jr. over Matisse Dibule? Just a just a little bit of a question that I had once upon a time. The shooting of Tim Hardaway Jr. is still efficient enough, and when we re-sign him, I don't think he's going to ask us for too much money, so I'm okay with the trade. Because we were going to lose those guys who had one-year deals for nothing anyway, so may as well get something out of it. Um, Matisse Dibule is making 7 mil, and Luke Cornett's making a bit more money than that needs to be, so come time next year, those are going to be the contracts that we look to flip for whatever we can get, basically. Um, going into next year's draft, I don't even know who I'm targeting. We are right now a 500 team. As, if Donovan Mitchell can stay healthy, we're at least a, a potential bottom playoff team, which I know doesn't sound like anything to brag about. But for the direction of this team that we chose, I'm going to count that as an achievement. I don't think I'm going to trade Donovan Mitchell because I gave up so much to get him. But if the option to get another really good superstar comes up, I will consider it. Like, right now, the idea of Anthony Davis is that tempting to me. Because I don't mind the idea of making Reed Shepard the, the, um, like, the automatic one. Or Amen Thompson the automatic one, or things like that. Donovan Mitchell, you're still hurt. Draymond Green is out for two to four weeks. Cam Whitmore's out two to four weeks. Donovan Mitchell's out for two weeks. Uh, yeah. So it's going to take us right to the trade deadline, and whatever trades we can make, we'll consider around then. Uh, we just have too many injuries for us to be as competitive as we want to be. Because obviously with Donovan Mitchell, you are kind of hoping to compete. You don't trade for Donovan Mitchell with the idea of, like, tanking or anything like that. So, Tari Easton we have on a team option, so I'm not really going to look to trade him. Sangoon, there's no point in trading him. Sangoon's too valuable. Jabari Smith, I just didn't really feel like was going to develop too much on the team. So I was kind of okay with letting him go. Because paying him 30 mil to not really develop or be a key piece on my team didn't really seem worth it. Uh, the Wizards got DeMar DeRozan and Buddy Heald, and they allowed three of our guys to drop. Yeah, see, Reed Shepard's capable of dropping buckets and points, and he shoots at a high efficiency, so we want to get him playing. Um, and Men Thompson did pretty good, too. He just needs to stop, shoot, stop shooting the three ball. Uh, OG was fine. Tim Hardaway Jr. played pretty well as well for 12 minutes, 13 points. So... I'm not really looking to get rid of any of them. I'm not even particularly looking to get rid of Donovan Mitchell either. But I'd be lying if I said there isn't trades for Donovan Mitchell that I wouldn't consider. We have him on a team option. Let me see what he says. My agent's telling me I should test for agency. Well, I'm going to look into your trades then. Carl Anthony Towns. That's just not enough. Look, the whole point is about building around Reed Shepard, which is the only reason why I'm not taking Devin Booker. A Devin Booker trade is tempting, but with the idea of us building around Reed Shepard, I'm not going to just 180 and go trade him for Devin Booker. Scotty Barnes and Emmanuel quickly. That That's tempting. That is very tempting. Um, but when we do our Raptors franchise, we'll build around Scotty Barnes and or Emmanuel quickly. So, no. You're just going to retire. Yeah, no, that's stupid. Because LeBron is just going to retire. So we're not going to do that. Brandon Ingram and a very, very highly projected first round pick. Bam. A four-star projected Milwaukee pick. And Brandon Ingram. I don't even want Brandon Ingram. Because I just did him with the Mavs franchise. But that, that pick is tempting. It's a very tempting pick. Uh, Chris Stapps and Drew Holiday. Mm? That could be interesting. Sangoon and Chris Stapps next to each other. The spacing would be a bit off, but it could make it work. Kawhi. Mm, no, but interesting. 
Jaron. Jaron could play the four next to... Uh, Jaron doesn't get a lot of um, rebounds. He could play the four next to St. Gowen. That could be doable. I'm not going to make it, but that could be doable. Bam could also be uh, a respectable a respectable guy to put the four. Because he can space the floor shooting, but also get rebounds and play defense. He can play good perimeter defense, which would make him a okay candidate for the four. Mm. Wow. De'Aaron Fox and Keegan Murray. That is a nice trade-off. That's cool. I'm not doing it, but that's cool, though. Uh, Randall could be that four. And Mikael Bridges could be that three. It really beats the point of what the Knicks are doing IRL, but, I mean, I, I don't hate it. Uh, Jamal Murray being the one. If that was the case, then Reed Shepard or Men Thompson, one of them would have to be the full-time two if we traded for Jamal Murray. But then we also get Aaron Gordon in the trade. Interesting. The only trade right now that I'm genuinely considering, though, is this one. Because that Milwaukee pick is four-star value. So that could easily help me get another superstar come time. Uh, if I Like, for an example, if I wanted to re-sign Brandon Ingram. But then again, I'll have Donovan Mitchell to use as a sign and trade as well. So, I mean, I, I guess I can't really say that with without some sort of sincereness. You were only a one star for my system, though, so I have really no real means of keeping you around. I mean, the fact that I can get you for like four million years is not bad, but I'm going to do something insane. I'm going to give Tim Hardaway Jr. a super max. Basically, the whole reason why I'm giving him a super max is to use him in a trade down the line later, because I'll have draft picks. Uh, you are not getting a no trade clause, absolutely not. But you know what you are getting? Bird rights and 50 to 60 million dollars. All right, cool. All right, now I can trade you. <laughs> All right, now, now now we can trade him. He doesn't fit our system anyway. I know he just had that one amazing game. Maybe we could trade off the hype. Yeah, we'll just trade him based off the hype, I guess, of him having that one really good game. Um, we're giving up that first, but we get Brooke Lopez. Ooh. If Brooke Lopez doesn't retire, I would love him on this team. I love Brooke Lopez. I don't want to give up my first round pick, though, because I think he might just retire. So I'm going to wait. Atlanta will just give me picks. Hmm. Here's the thing. If we get picks from Atlanta, right? That's fine. But I better start asking for future Atlanta picks because they'll never be able to resign anyone outside of these two guys. So I might want to start asking for some future Atlanta picks that they don't even have. So... You know what? Give me an extra second and I'll say yes. Alright, never mind. Don't give me that extra second, I guess. But, hey, we get some more cap space. Uh, all the merrier, right? All the merrier. Donovan Mitchell's back. OG. Draymond Green. St. Goon. Tari Eason. Reed Shepard. Luke Cornett. Uh, Justice Winslow doesn't really have to be in the... He doesn't really have to be in this... And neither does DeLon Wright. DeLon Wright doesn't have to be in this. I'm going to take out DeLon Wright, and I'm going to give those mitts to... Mm. The hell am I even looking at? Um, four points per game, almost 50% from the field. You actually are shooting a three ball okay. You are just not what I want. So, 11 minutes for you. All right, perfect. The ultimate goal would be to re-sign Donovan Mitchell. But, I mean, if we can't, we can't. No, we're not giving up Porzingis for uh, Chris Stapps. However, I will look at the... Uh, I will look around at the contracts and see if there's anyone else who's on a one-year deal who we might just want to uh, ship out now. Like, DeLon Wright has some value. If we want to shop him out for, like, a future second-round pick or something... I don't know, extra draft capital is always cool. We give up a late round first, and we get a future first with more value, and we take on Damian Lee's contract. That's not terrible. Don't love it. Uh, we get a better first, and we get a guy in a multi-year deal who's a point guard. Not completely opposed to it. Derek Rose. Huh, Derek Rose in a Rockets jersey looks kind of... I don't know, it's kind of off. It's like when we saw T-Mac in a Knicks jersey. It's like... It's like I understand it happened, but... 
not particularly the trade I want. I'll do this one. I get a more valuable pick. That Golden State pick isn't projected to be good. So I'll get a better a better projected pick and a point guard on a multi-year deal. So I'll have a, a trade piece for the offseason. And then I'm going to send Iggy to a contender because we clearly are not a contender. So I'm going to go send Iggy to a contender. Who's who's contending? Hey, contenders, bring out, bring out your Iguodala love. All right, well, Iggy and Luke Cornett, because Luke Cornett isn't doing much for me anyway. Stop asking me for picks. John Wall on a two-year deal. I kind of forgot I'm going to need a backup center in this trade. Ooh, TJ McConnell. That's exciting. Grant Williams. Grant Williams could actually be okay. Ooh, Mo Wagner. Mo Wagner. That, that could be the trade. I like the idea of Mo Wagner. Yes, he'll be on a one-year deal, but I'm kind of okay with it. A one-year deal of Mo Wagner as a backup center? Sure. I believe take Mo Wagner. Give me, give me Mo Wagner. So I'm giving up Luke Cornett, and I'm giving up Iggy. We'll get Mo Wagner. Hopefully we'll resign Mo Wagner. Is he, does he want to talk about contracts? Mo? Mr. Mo? Mr. Wagner? Oh, he also doesn't fit our scheme in any way, shape, or form. Um, well, whoops. Uh, oh, it's letting me trade him anyway. Sure. How come he doesn't fit our scheme, though? Is it because he's not a perimeter defender? Is that why? It's time when I think I'm going to test for agency. Well, you know what, buddy? Are you shooting well from the field? You're just shooting kind of okay. Well, that's the thing. Not everyone can be amazing, so that's that's fine. Just a second round pick, and we get Brick Lopez. You know what? He might retire. He very well might retire. But if there's just a chance that I get Brooke Lopez, I'm, I'm taking it. Give me Brooke Lopez. Give me another championship uh, experience player. So now we run Brooke Lopez and Draymond Green, who are both coincidentally on the bench for our young players. But you know what? It's okay. Cam Whitmore will come back from his injury. He'll be the backup three. Uh, Matisse Dybul can stay the backup two. You can still be the backup one. Everything looks fine. It's all good. It's all good in the hood, except for you just don't need to do that. And when Cam Whitmore comes back, we'll switch it to a 10-man rotation. Also, I think I do technically have to sign some people to fill out my roster. Yeah, I technically have to sign two players. Okie dokie. I mean, Clay, I'd love you, bro, but doesn't look like you're willing to sign with me. You're making my life difficult. Ooh, Chris Dunn. And Chris Dunn doesn't want to come here either. Well, terrific. Uh, any old people want to just come play basketball? All right, we signed Gary Harris. Any any big man want to just come play basketball? Uh, lover of the Kardashians, come play with me. Cool, awesome. All right, well, we signed Gary Harris and uh, Tristan Thompson. Lovely. Brooke Lopez, you can play 18 minutes for now. Gary Harris, I guess you're playing the backup shooting guard for the meantime. That's fine. Uh, no, we will not trade. We've been offered Porzingis a lot of times for specifically Singoon, which is a trade we're not going to make, by the way. But uh, is Cam Whitmore back? Cam Whitmore's back. Awesome. So now we can go back to a 10-man rotation. And we'll see. Who are they giving the last spot to? They're giving it to Gary Harris over Matisse Thybul. Um, I'm going to let it happen for now. It's okay. Because Thybul is probably going to get traded anyway because he's making 7 mil. We'll probably look to shop him for um, some sort of upgrade off the bench at some point. Oh, we are competing, which is good. We probably are a play-in team. But for me right now, a play-in team is great. Because a lot of the teams that I've been making recently that I thought were really good have not been winning. So I'm going to take that as as its own achievement. Uh, I fully plan to re-sign Brook Lopez if he doesn't retire. I'll give him a two-year deal. Oh, okay. 
okay. We lose to the Pacers pretty badly. But we beat we beat the Mavericks though. So that's that's good. Apparently apparently no Tim Hardaway Jr. is their weakness. Yeah, apparently no Tim Hardaway Jr. is their weakness. They lost twice. Uh close game against Anthony Edwards. We beat Jalen Brunson. We lose to De'Aaron Fox. Uh the Pelicans are just built different. Victor dominates the hell out of us. Steph Curry's him. But then we get our revenge game against Steph Curry. How are, how are they doing with Fred Van Vliet, by the way? I mean, I know they have a good record, but like, are they is Freddie like fitting well into their system? Wait, 69? Oh, shot 10. See, okay. They were trying to tell me he put up 69 points. I was like, what the hell? 13 points per game, 3, uh, three rebounds, 6 assists, a steal a game. Shoots okay splits. I mean, it's not terrible. Not terrible. We're just about 500, so that's perfectly fine by me. Ooh. Whoop. Whoop. We beat... Tell me how we beat Boston, but we lose to the Grizzlies. Yeah, it's just life. 14-42. Nikola Jokic is your most valuable player. I agree. Rookie of the year was Kyle Flapowski. All right, cool. Bones Highlands the six man. Victor's deep boy. Your boy Big Pod. He's most improved. Anthony Edwards was clutch. And Rick Carlisle was coach of the year. Hey, you don't get to see that often. I like to see it. We're in the play in against the Lakers. Um, hmm. So we're going to lower to a nine man rotation. And we're going to, uh, supposedly, we're just going to take Justice Winslow just out of the rotation, basically. And we're going to run this rotation. And hopefully, we can get some wins with this. Cam Whitmore, I think he's a little heated, supposedly. I'm guessing that's where the overall uh, decline was from. Yep, fed up. He's upset that he's not the starter on the team. Because we have, because we have OG starting. But we're going to keep him around anyway. Brooke getting injured sucks. Kind of really needed Brooke. Um, don't really have much else help at the moment. So we're going to just have to move a couple players around. Uh, Draymond at the 5. Oof. Well, he's going to end up playing some 5 anyway. So Yeah, against Anthony Davis? That's, that's not very ideal. But whatever. Hopefully, I don't know. They don't have LeBron. They just have Anthony Davis. If they can make the play in with just Anthony Davis, maybe we really do need to trade for Anthony Davis. But we beat them convincingly in that game, so that's cool. Oh, that was for the seventh seed? We take... Oh. Well, Sengun versus Jokic is cool, but we now we have to face the MVP, which stinks. Jokic versus Sengun, Tari Eason versus Aaron Gordon. So they have the advantage at center, the advantage at power forward, the advantage at point guard. We have the advantage at the two and the three. Uh, it is the Nuggets, and it is Jokic, so it's definitely going to be a difficult matchup for sure. Uh, who else just got injured? Oh, and Draymond Green got injured as well. Well, womp womp. Um, hmm. Alright, well, we're just going to have to get creative here. We can either just not play Winslow, or we can just move someone else to the four. Uh, Kim Whitmore at the four, that's an option. Cam Whitmore slash four. He should be. Yeah, he's a slash four. Uh, yeah, we're just going to take him out of the rotation. We are going to have to unfortunately play an eight-man rotation. We're going to be a little short. Um, yeah, we don't have a big man off the bench. I guess, I guess I might just have to give a couple minutes to you. Not particularly wanting to, but I might have to. I might not have a choice. Just give a couple minutes to Tristan Thompson. And whatever happens, happens. We are facing the second seed, but we made it to the seventh seed with this team, so we are just potentially just a few more good pieces away from actually being an actual contender like we want to be. Like, we're, we're actually competing against Jokic, so I know we lost, but we did compete. Like, it's not like we just got dominated by Jokic. In fact, we're actually now up 2-0 in this 2-1 in the series. If we can find a way to win this, then there, there's a sign that this team, it, it, it's coming. The seventh seed is coming. Oh. 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 
Don't blow leads. You are blowing leads. Oh, all right. We blew the lead, unfortunately. Womp womp. Please, please. Oh my God, we beat we beat Jokic, and now Draymond Green gets his revenge game against Steph Curry. That is not at all the storyline I was going for. No, that oh Reed Shepard's now injured. That's 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 doo doo. That's doo doo. That's utter doo doo. But hey, Brook Lopez is back. Gary Harris is healthy ish. Sure. You know what? Making a nine man rotation now. Draymond Green being injured is gonna start at the four over Tari Eason. Uh, yeah, okay. That's the move. Also, we beat the Lakers and they somehow got back in, beat the Thunder, and are now back in it. Uh, you know what, Lakers, you you y'all do you. So we have Sangoon versus Kevon Looney. That should be a win. Should be a win. Draymond Green versus Kuminga. Hopefully, OG is going to lock up Wiggins. Wiggins isn't going to do much. And we have Amen Thompson, one of our best on-ball defenders versus Steph Curry. I want to say we have an advantage. Just look, on paper, we have an advantage. But looking at how our team has played, I don't know if we actually have an advantage or not. Man, that fourth quarter scares me. That, yeah, that fourth quarter scares me. But anyway... Hmm. Okay. Yeah, there was no comeback that game. All right. We're up two one. All right. So we're the we're just the king of game six, I guess. And we get a rematch against the Lakers after beating them in the first round. After beating them in the first round of the play-in, to be exact, Donovan Mitchell went off. It yeah. This, how how is this team here? D'Lo, Chris Murray, Chris Paul, Chris Paul, and AD are just they're just that good. I I I I don't I don't I don't know. I I don't I don't know. In, injuries on simul si simulation difficulty fifty. That's normal difficulty. The gameplay difficulty is on Superstar instead of Hall of Fame, but that shouldn't affect anything. If the Pistons make it to the finals, that'd be funny. Because it'd be... It'd be LeBron versus the Lakers if the Lakers beat us. Or, if we make the finals and Philly makes the finals, then it's just the teams that James Harden played for that didn't win a ring with him make it to the finals. So that'd be funny. Uh, they got back to Vice Harris in this universe. Yeah, I mean, that's a good team, but... This one has LeBron, LeBron and Cade, and Zach Eady and Bo Bo. The Asar brothers, the Thompson brothers would be facing each other if we face the Piston. So there's a bunch of cool, interesting little storylines here that could happen. But yeah, let's just start simulating and see what happens. We beat them in the play-in. That doesn't really necessarily indicate that we're going to win the series easily, but... Hmm... All right, well, we won game one quite convincingly. We won game two. They take game three. They take game four. They take game five. All righty. Um, hmm. Reed Shepard still hurt. That sucks. Well, how are you supposed to win a championship without the Shepard? You need the Shepard, bro. Uh, do we play Gary Harris? Maybe we just play one without Gary Harris, and maybe that works out. If we could take it to seven, I might play game seven. Oh my god, that fourth quarter is awful. Yeah, no, that fourth quarter is awful. Well, we, lo we lose because the fourth quarter was so bad. Note to self, that AD trade that I wanted to make, go get AD. Yeah. Part three is going to be doing nothing but going to get Anthony Davis. Because if I go get AD, I mean... I think I have all the hopes of winning a championship if I have AD next to Sangoon and Donovan Mitchell and the rest of the core that I have already with Reed Shepard coming back healthy. 
So, at this point, it doesn't matter who wins this. Yep, Anthony Davis won. Fuck, I wanted Anthony Davis. You bastards. But anyway, so that's going to be the end of part two. Part three is going to be coming back with the off season. So I'm going to start that right now. Well, starting part three is now going to be a fun time because we lost in the finals. Anthony Davis beat Joel Embiid in the finals 4-1. to one. And the Lakers won the championship. We actually tried trading for Anthony Davis quite earlier in the franchise. However, uh, I didn't want to spend 20 minutes trying to make a trade. And I should have done it because I probably could have won a ring by now. But these are the guys retiring. Um, we did have some options for some pretty good trades. But ultimately, I didn't take any of them. So, yep. Now we got to find a way to pay our guys and do all that cool stuff. LeBron was one series away from making the finals. However, he lost to Joel Embiid. And... What? 